we're back at the Best Buy store, day two, and we've got some more meaty video projects to test for exporting. And uh, so they're both three minutes and 10 seconds, 4K60. Start with a nice little drone shot sunset. Uh, then we've got a nice little street drone, uh, capital with the, the blue moon Ooh, that I shot with my SLR. Got some selfie cam stuff. Uh, got my Zelda shelf and then Norman. And so that is the same across both versions. We've got the 12 Pro Max and this one, the A+. <laughs> um, What's interesting immediately off the bat is that you can kind of see the Pro Max is actually a lot more purple tempted. See, it looks like a lot more purple for some reason. I don't know why. That's very strange. But hopefully that will be fine. But let's go ahead and uh, export to... So it's interesting, export project. I don't have that option. So we'll save video, save video. 4K. But see, this still doesn't give me the option, and I don't know why. But let's just take a look at that, and we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. so uh, 12 Pro Max, almost more than twice as fast. Um, one thing that's not clear, though, is if the 8 Plus, is that exporting in 1080p or 4K? So we'll find out when it's done. But, um, that is really a weird software glitch that I don't know why it's not giving me the option. I don't know. Okay, so obviously uh, an iPhone that's three generations newer is gonna be a little bit faster, but it's actually surprising how much faster. Both were 4K HDR, however, um, the 12 Pro Max exported at 60 frames per second, the 8 Plus was only 30 frames per second, and the 12 Pro Max ended up being a little more than twice as fast as the 8 Plus, which is pretty impressive, also considering all of the 12 models have the same guts. So you're going to get probably identical performance, regardless of which iPhone 12 model, the performance will be the same, which is very impressive. 